And to me, that exemplifies what P.J. Dozier can do. So I want to show you a couple examples right now of how he is making himself a presence on this Denver Nuggets offense. And he's going to get more minutes and more opportunities with the Nuggets not having Jamal Murray. So here you see his defender is going to go double-team Nikola Jokic. This is nothing new. Everybody sends a double to the Joker. P.J. recognizes this, comes around, and then he's thinking one step ahead. He's going to be rushing out to close out on me, so I'm not going to settle for that contested three. I'm going to shot fake, take a couple dribbles in, shoot that elbow jumper, and knocks that down. The Nuggets have to focus on taking care of the basketball. They did a great job, the best in NBA history against the Portland Trailblazers, but they gave up a lot of points off of their turnovers last time they saw this team. So you have to be really smart with your decision making and get back in transition. If you do turn it over, don't let them score off of those turnovers. Oh. This two man game, this little handoff back to a re screen, and Monte comes out and checks Joker first, sees Carter go back to him and says, Okay, if you're not going to come and, and cover me here, I'm not going to make that pass to Jokic. I'm going to take this all the way to the rim. Look at him celebrating the Jamal jam. The MPJ smile for Murray. You love to see it. These guys are having so much fun on this 12 to nothing. Run, Mike, yeah, with the block. Sends it down the other way, and then Jamal Murray throwing it down. Nuggets up in Indiana. I want to go back to that last game, specifically the fourth quarter of that last game, and talk about the fabulous five, the fantastic five, whatever you want to call them. It's these guys right here. P.J. Dozier, Jeremy Grant, Jamal Murray, Nicole Jokic, and Michael Porter Jr. This is what they did the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. These numbers, remarkable. They not only When he knows Nicole Jokic is playing well, he's going to get him the basketball. I want you to watch this here. He reads Kemba Walker is cheating this high ball screen, so he refuses the screen, comes off, attacks at an angle, that requires both defenders to come at him, threads the needle into Nikola Jokic for an easy floater in the lane. Nikola Jokic, as much as he goes full takeover mode offensively when the Nuggets need him to in the clutch, he also elevates his defense in the clutch. And I want to show you that right now because Nikola Jokic, so this is the final play of the fourth quarter. He is in help side. Watch the urgency he closes out on Grayson Allen right there. Then these are a couple plays in overtime. Him playing in the gap there against that two-man game, closing out, making sure that he's taking care of his man. And this one too, John Morant drives on him. He contests that shot without fouling and then grabs the rebound. You just see Paul Millsap and Nikola Jokic working their own little two-man game here. Paul Millsap setting that screen but slipping to the basket and Nikola Jokic just threading the needle inside around the Cavs defense and he beats the help side too. The timing on that, Scott, was perfect. In different ways and there was one play in particular that I want to show you guys just one more time because it was that good. So he's coming off of this double stagger screen. Jamal Murray hands it off here and he's going to come off really tight. So the defense has to create. Jamichael Green is going to roll to the basket and he's going to put the defense in a really compromising position. So Faku comes off and comes off as a threat. So Jamichael rolls and look at all the attention he draws. Obviously his guy still has to recover, but then Faku sees Zeke Naji's defender creeping in there a little bit and knows, okay, I see all this happening. I also see Zeke Naji open. I'm not going to look there, though, because it looks way cooler to make a no-look pass. And Zeke Naji knocks it down in the quarter. This is my favorite angle, though. Look at this. Look at where Faku's looking. Completely into the paint. Somehow uses his peripheral vision to see Zeke Naji and Kyle Kuzma. And I believe Vic called this the buzz cut. Oh, look at how look at how cool. That is inches, people. Inches to Kyle Kuzma's head. That I consider a good road trip going 500 and with that win last night, the Denver Nuggets are already there heading into the All-Star break. Against this Milwaukee Bucks team, one of the hottest teams in the NBA, they've won five in a row. You're going to have to put together close to a perfect game. Here's what you have to be aware of too when you're in that 2-3 zone. You know that they have shooters, they've hit a couple threes, there's dribble penetration. There's going to be action happening behind you when someone's driving into the lane. So knowing okay, who's going to step up and take the ball? Whoever isn't that guy needs to fall back and be aware that there are going to be cutters going to the basket. Why? We got a lot to talk about with these Denver Nuggets, Katie. Yeah, both these teams are desperate for a win. The Nuggets have lost three in a row. The Cavs have lost four in a row. So it's going to come down, Scott Hastings, to urgency and which team doesn't want to lose another game more. Down the middle to Jokic, and he throws it down. Put him in the dunk contest, his 16th cram of the year. Air Serbia. Set and cleared for takeoff.